Uncle Mud here, answering some more questions from the comments. The last question was about how do we start a rocket heater on a day when it's fairly warm outside so it's hard to get a draft started. That's a problem with uh, a lot of different types of wood stoves and fireplaces. And there are several ways to deal with that. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you the ways that I've worked on dealing with it with my rocket heater. I've actually got a longer bench than is called for by the Liberator guys. It robs more heat into the house. Um, and it does still draw properly up the chimney uh, almost all the time, but there are certain days in the spring and the fall when it might actually be colder in the house than it is outside, so it's hard to get a fire drawing and still annoying to just sit here and let it be 55 degrees in the house. So, um, the I suppose the right way to do this is to not depend on electricity at all, and the way to do that is to have kind of a T here at the bottom of your chimney that goes where the pipe goes back out and over there and into the rocket heater of whatever sort. And if you have this T, you can pop this open and you can throw a piece of one of those wax cardboard fire starters, uh, or I like to use waxed um, cardboard box, the kind they put fruit and stuff in. But you light that in there, right under the bottom of your chimney, you will uh, be able to get your chimney hot enough that it will draw even though it might be warmer in uh, the out of doors than it is in the house. Once you get the chimney drawing, it will be, and you put this cap back on, it will be sucking air through from the uh, rocket heater and then it'll be easy to light the rocket heater and keep it going without it smoking back. So that's the way I recommend. Now sometimes we get impatient and we want it to start easier than that and um, there's a there's this method that I like not so much on this little rocket heater bench here but on a bigger bench with more mass, with a cooler uh, chimney, you can put a duct fan in there. So that top piece of chimney there is, is actually a duct fan. It looks a lot like this. And it's got this handy dandy little adjustment here for how much draft you want to pull through because you pull too much through and the fire over here uh, doesn't get a chance to get as hot as we'd like. Um, now that's definitely a possibility. However, what I'm finding is unless I've got a really good distance, like I would say um, the ones that have been successful are ones I've like stuck on top of the chimney outside to draw through, uh, to let the exhaust gas cool as much as possible. But the uh, but this one, um, when I get the bench really warm, uh, can actually get too warm inside for the little electric motor. And also sometimes the wood uh, will get, um, will be have a little bit too much moisture in it, even kiln dried wood. Uh, and that's not going to make for a happy motor. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get three years out of one of those as a startup or draft inducer fan if the uh, motor is inside of the pipe. Um, the right way to do that, if you're really going to do it, is one of these auto draft um, fans looks like this draft inducer fan they're specifically designed for this they're a lot more expensive i might have paid 36 bucks for that fan uh, this one is going to be about between two and five hundred dollars depending on how much of the work you do yourself but uh what it is 
is a piece of pipe. That's what it looks like when it's built. It's got a piece of pipe. You've cut a slot in so that this little fan here spins around and it's outside of the flow so it doesn't really get in the way for when natural draft is doing its job but it's bolted on the side here and um, and it will push air up through the top of the chimney there's a place here to put in a rheostat basically a dimmer switch to let you choose how much draft you want to put in there uh, I also like plugging it in to a, um, a timer so that when I stop paying attention after the fire starts that the, the timer goes off after you know five ten minutes uh, just all you need with this draft uh, with, uh, is uh, is just five ten minutes to get enough hot gas coming up the chimney for the rocket heater to uh, push enough hot gas through your pipes um, so this is the full setup and it just replaces one of these pipes The fan motor is outside of the exhaust, which is where it's most safe. Um, yeah, this is the best way to do it if you're going to use an electric draft. Um, a really good place for an electric, bleh, electric draft might be if you're heating a greenhouse with a long uh, tunnel um, along the exhaust that's horizontal. Um, going along the floor and the ground or whatever um, because you're gonna pull off so much heat sometimes uh, that the uh, there's not enough left in the chimney vertically to induce a draft at least when you get started once you get started it'll get hot enough that it'll draft now if you have too much pipe going horizontally then it's not going to naturally draft by itself um, without assistance ever. And um, that might sound like a good place to use one of these permanently. Just turn it on low and let it go. Uh, I mean, basically that's how a pellet heater works. Uh, problem with that uh, is that uh, unlike a pellet heater, which will pretty much put itself out um, if you lose power, um, a rocket heater um, that isn't having enough draft can uh, backdraft into the room with all of the smoke from all of the wood that you've got in the uh, feed tube. So um, that's probably a bad idea um, overall um, to depend entirely on uh, a, uh, an auto draft uh, electric. Uh, for the draft of your rocket heater um, but uh, if you're going to use it to cheat to get the thing started um, I highly recommend just biting the bullet and getting one of these uh, 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 external ones uh, it's going to last a lot longer uh, it's going to be more reliable and it's uh, UL listed to do the job which uh, these other ones are uh, basically, those are duct heaters. Uh, du I'm sorry, duct fans. So they're not really designed to do the job. Uh, they do it, but only if you have the uh, fan uh, all the way on the top of your chimney, up outside where you've had to run extension cords somehow. Uh, so you keep the inside of the fan cool enough uh, that it doesn't... Uh, start making melty bits out of the uh, electric motor in it. So thanks for asking questions and love to see your stuff if you build your own rockets. Uh, talk to you soon, UncleMud.com.